And, and this is where it's going to start to hurt. Elliot Giles approaching the home straight. And what has he got left? He's looking up. He's breathing heavily. He's got to get some more support from everyone here in Eltham. Elliot Giles, we're keeping an eye on the clock. I'm not. It's going to be so, so close. He may just be outside it. But Elliot Giles charging to the line. 3.36 or 3.37.03. Oh, we've got a bit of trouble there, but it is Musa still in first place. David Proctor well out wide, as we see in the 800. A real sprint for the line. Can Musa hold on? It's going to be very close on the line. Musa takes it 151 52. She's got Ellie Baker with her, Katie Kirk coming around her shoulder, Izzy Buffy on the inside, Jenny Selman looks like she could finish hard. Could Jenny Selman cause an upset? We're very well caught Nolan at the start, at the lead at the moment. She's done 406 this season, but it's Ellie Baker on the outside. Is Izzy Buffy going to get a gift on the inside? She is. It's Ellie Baker. Ellie Baker with 50 metres to go. Parry away. Katie Kirk at the moment in second place. Ellie Baker for the win. 201 from Katie Kirk. Izzy Buffy third place. And now we see Frank Morgan has put another kick in here, the Carmarvin athlete. And he, this is so, so impressive. 1-1-2 one, one, with 100 metres to go. And it is Rian McLawley with his uh, Cambridge and Coleridge vessel. Is it OJ? Ma no, it is... Rhea McCauley powering away, judged that so well. And it's young Frank Morgan under pressure for that second place. 3.55 for the win. Frank Morgan in second place. Hartigan has to really keep this up. The clock goes past four minutes, but where is it going to stop? 4.08.75, her PB. She's going to be outside of that, but it is going to be a superb time for Georgie Hartigan. 4.11.67. And in second place, Louise Shanahan, and just on the line in third, Maisie O'Sullivan.